Uh, hi and welcome to this week's video. Top of the aircraft on this side is a little bit messy. I've been doing some work just waiting for it to, to dry and cure. Uh, I'll get it tidied up. Uh, but I've been working on uh, the, the root rib on the side of the fuselage. But I'll show you what else I've been up to and we'll have a little discussion about uh, how to do the, the uh, cable uh, bundling for the wiring looms and a little bit of a discussion about uh, what pilot aware is and what what the system the antennas are which i've been sticking into the aircraft so come join me let's see what i've been up to the uh, gps sort of receiving antenna mouse section for the pilot aware uh, what i've done is i've degreased the bottom of it and put on some velcro and uh, so that's on there with sort of, uh, adhesive tape and I've just got this piece here with uh, the adhesive tape which fits on to it says, uh, wandering around the little platform which uh, which I made just there that's been varnished several times so uh, it's got a good clean surface on it I'll just give it a wipe with uh, some degreaser and uh, the antenna will stick to there I don't believe there's any particular uh, orientation but I will sort of have it set uh, like that sort of uh, cable going out to the rear because uh, that's how it's set up in my uh, in my cub so I'll just keep it like that cables are rooted in as the antenna are just laid out at the moment but i need to uh, get p clips to fit those to the ver the cables to the various posts to hold them nice and neatly and uh, so i can actually work out exactly the position of the antennas uh, going back one uh, on the starboard side towards the rear and one on the port side slightly forward uh, with a, the cable crossing over on the diagonal there um, so they've got enough distance to be able to do what they need to do uh, I've got the uh, transponder antenna cable it's tie wrapped here where it will be and then it goes across to that block over there so this is ground plane and bits of bits this is all temporary because that I've got to cover it and then put this together but I just wanted to make sure everything was suitable there and that cable I've uh, got uh, to just the right length uh, so that it will go into the transponder in its position inside the cockpit currently inside here uh, this is just temporary sort of same position but these two wires here which go to the antennas and this one here which goes to the GPS will be uh, P-clipped uh, to there and this one coming through here <coughs> is the one for the transponder which will go uh, onto, onto this point here so as it's, it'll have enough flex in to go into the back of the transponder on a tray just there these bits here for uh, the mic and tell which I'm going to put in uh, hopefully and then we've got blocks here to take the cables to feed into the front of the uh, radio and transponder boxes and coming back from uh, the, the radio one uh, down the center line and then coming across here would be the antenna coming up along with all the other uh, control wires for the uh, avionics and the masters uh, we've got uh, the power socket here this will have uh, the, the short lead going into the side of the, of the uh, pilot where to feed it Let's see if i can uh, show you what i've done there you've got cable run going going along there I've got the uh, let's get these out of the way 
I've got the uh, transponder antenna cable separated from the other cables uh, by a little bit of distance just uh, saving uh, perhaps a small chance of uh, any interference oh, very slight if there's any uh, I've tied the other cables together as you can sort of see here little cinch knots uh, I'll show you how to do those in large scale I, I couldn't really show you how, how I do it in situ it's very hard to get that sorted so it then runs up I've got a little bit of excess up here which uh, cable so I'll just put a, a little uh, loop and hold that together with uh, some of the velcro -y stuff uh, we've got one antenna up there which routes down this diagonal down here past the uh, the rudder cable so that way and then we've got the other antenna going across here uh, going up to its position there so they've got this held on with uh, the sort of sticky tape uh, which comes with them uh, onto the inside here what I do is I, I did a little bit of epoxy on the surface and uh, let that cure so I've got a nice glossy area for the, uh, the, the, the double sided tape to stick to otherwise it doesn't stick very well to the satin varnish so that's what I've done there I could almost have glued them in place that would have been another option I suppose but I think the the pads just give a little bit of anti-vibration for them so underneath that one there or the other side of that is the uh, Oh, what do you call it? Uh, GPS antenna. Uh, and I've just put the two bits of uh, sort of Velcro strapping on there just to help hold it in place. I'll show you what I've done in the cockpit uh, area. So I've not got it in position, but it's on. The, we'll go onto Velcro there. Velcro's there but I'll just get that onto Velcro there uh, so we've got the GPS antenna coming around going into its feed inside here this is the power cable bit which will go to a little uh, power cigarette lighter sort of style 12 volt uh, thing which adapts it down there's a transponder antenna going up to where it can get, go into the transponder and there are those two aerials uh, coming in to the, the uh, pilot aware and inside here well I'll show you what's inside uh, once I get everything sort of more connected up but we've got on the side here we've got an area a thing that would allow me to take out a um, audio signal that audio signal will feed into my radio auxiliary so as I get it in my headset uh, I get the uh, audio uh, warnings of other aircraft which would be nice to have uh, rather than looking at it on your uh, uh, iPad to, to see what's going on or whatever sort of tablet you're using uh, I like to keep my eyes out and this just acts like a passenger talking to me about it and tells me where it is I can look in that direction but it will show up on uh, Sky Demon I showed you uh, how I've uh, tied up the uh, antennas for the pilot aware using uh, a wax string but I haven't sure show, I said I'll show you the method for doing the tying of it so I've got a great bundle of uh, paracord here which I'm going to use to pretend this is the, the, the wax cord I use and uh, these bars here are just representing the cables so uh, use your imagination think of them as uh, as being normal flexible wires but i'm trying to put everything into scale so uh, i pass the loose end through underneath the uh, the wires and i go around the wires twice on the one side so effectively we've got a nice uh, a nice sort of twisted section like that and then I take the loose end, I get cross over and I go underneath the wires but this time I go back through 
where I crossed over and I do that twice. So I've gone back through that sort of loopy section where I went over the top. And because I've done that, when I pull it tight, effectively it's, uh, it's sort of done like a sort of a whipping on here. So it all sits relatively neat and tidy, or should do. It's, uh, you'll see we've got like a, a crossover going across the top there. And on the other underside there, it's uh, the two, two bits are parallel to each other. So with it like that, I now come up to the top and I carry out a reef knot. So a sort of simple overhand knot like that. Reef knot, uh, uh, the Americans, you, you call this a square knot. So I just tighten it down. We don't need to be super, super tight with this. If you've waxed the, the, uh, the cord properly, it's not going to slip anywhere. You don't need to make it so tight it's trying to cut through. So I've gone through one way and now I'm just going to finish off that, uh, that square knot, he says. The other way, like that. And now I could go cut, cut through here and you've got this quite nice, reasonably wide uh, area which is holding the, uh, the cables together. Nice and sort of neat sort of look about it like that. So with that lock cut off, there you go. And I do that on the actual wires about a hand's width apart. So the next one would be so a hand's width either side. Uh, and then if I'm doing a 90 degree bend, so I'm bending a whole series of the, the wires, I want the loom to go through 90 degrees. I'll do it about an inch, 25 millimeters before the bend and sort of 25 millimeters after the bend. And that way you'll hold quite a nice 90 degree bend in the cable, uh, you know, in, the, in the loom itself. So there's a nice uh, simple method. It's lighter than using um, zip ties. Zip ties tend to slip up and down the, 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 uh, the system unless you, you, you've got the nice uh, grip tie system with, with rubbers, but it's expensive, it's heavy, uh, and you've got sort of sharp corners on the, on the ends of the zip ties when you cut them off and things like that, which can scratch. And uh, the cord system like this, last for years and years uh, provided you've, you've waxed it ni nicely with beeswax and uh, rarely causes any issues at all there you go i hope that's of help to you oh well that's it for this week folks uh, as i said in the last video i didn't think i was going to get a huge amount done but i managed to get a little bit done uh the uh, wing root uh, rib on the fuselage on the second side is being carried out. I haven't shown you the video of that. It's not an awful lot to show there. And uh, the wiring has been carried out for the Pilot Aware. I was going to talk to you about Pilot Aware. Uh, I think that really deserves its own video as to what it does uh, but just to give you a little bit of an idea it's a it's an electronic conspicuity system that we have uh, in the UK uh, it picks up information from base stations and from other pilot awares uh, for ADSB uh, from other aircraft uh, all the radar type uh, information that gets put onto the uh, web systems, uh, FLIR uh, from the gliders, um, sky echo systems, all that, anything that, that tells people uh, there's aircraft around, uh, what height they're at uh, is often given as well uh, in their position and it will give you on a, like a radar screen, a virtual radar screen on a tablet or phone, it'll show you where those aircraft are and uh, their height if that's available or it'll give you a warning there's an aircraft nearby uh, and what height it's at compared to you. It's really quite a good system in that format but it's also compatible with our Sky Demon system which we use 
uh, which is a, a navigational uh, aid. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the one that uh, you have out in the States, uh, Foreflight. So it's just uh, nigh on identical to Foreflight uh, from what I can gather and it will show those other aircraft on the screen uh, for you and if you've got it plugged in uh, to your uh, radio system or your uh, comms inside your aircraft you can actually get audio warnings and for those of you who've actually uh, looked at my flying videos and things you've probably heard the uh, the lady going you know aircraft uh, you know 100 feet below or whatever uh, at three o'clock or, or, or whatever it gives you an idea of what the position is and the height like all electronic conspicuity systems though it's as reliable as a passenger as far as I'm concerned uh, like, like all passengers that you have looking out for you they don't see everything uh, so you've got to keep an eye out as well because the passenger might miss things it's the same with pilot aware or any of the electronic conspicuity systems you've got to keep your eyes outside so I tend not to use the screen function uh, on my sky demon to look to see where the aircraft are uh, I tend to listen to the audio bit and use that as a, a lookout in that direction and see if I can see the aircraft that it's been telling me about rather than looking inside the cockpit uh, I'm not, although I, I use Sky Demon uh, a fair amount uh, I'm a great believer in looking out of the window uh, so I, I still use charts I'm a bit old fashioned like that but I tend to navigate by I set a course, compass course, look to see what's on the nose and I fly in that general direction and I look around me far more uh, by doing that and having the audio come through on my headset I think it's a big bonus. Uh, if it's going through Sky Demon and you've got a tablet, you've got a set of headsets which uh, which work with the Bluetooth, you can have the audio come that way rather than going uh, directly through the uh, the comm system. But it's always coming through for me on the auxiliary, so the radio transmissions uh, will override the uh, the warnings of traffic. And you can set the parameters as well for how far away what height difference is it you actually want an audio uh, warning about so you don't get squawked by everything that's taking off you know, 150 miles away it's a very good system all in all I'll put a link into uh, the description for Pilot Aware so you can go to their website and also I'll put a link into well, I'll, I'll put a tag up here uh, on the screen for you to look at uh, for where Giles uh, Fowler uh, does his, uh, his a bit of a discussion, uh, sort of webinar type discussion with the Pilotware and the iGrid system which allows for operations where there aren't very many base stations so if you're in uh, mountainous areas in the north of England, Scotland and places like that where there aren't so many base stations uh, you can still gain the information on your tablet and through your system as to get, get warnings of other aircraft and you become effectively a flying uh, a base station. So I'll stick those bits in there and maybe at some stage in the future once I've got my pilot aware uh, fully set up on this aircraft I'll go through exactly you know, what, what I do where, and how, how it works, what sort of settings I use. But to say the truth, it's very personal to how that's done. So, you know, you're probably better off just looking at the general and making up your own mind. I would highly recommend it if you fly in the UK to use that system. Okay then, so keep fit, look after yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.